In this chapter, we will learn about broadcast receiver. So what are broadcast receiver? Broadcast receiver are components that respond to events. So we have to note that most of the events are triggered by the system. For instance, low battery, screen lock, picture taken, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, but we also have to note that sometimes an application can trigger can launch some events in order to indicate that I have received an SMS or something like that. So the goal of broadcast receiver is to receive all of this event and to propagate the, the new events. Okay? We have to note that broadcast receiver doesn't have GUI. So this means that the workaround broadcast receiver will have to handle that. So, let's start to build a simple, a simple broadcast receiver. We have to change the Android, fast, the, the Android manifest.xml and here we can observe that I ask for the permission to read SMS or to receive SMS. Then, I declare a new component which is receiver with the name of my receiver and I specify an intent filter which is read SMS, receive SMS. So these two lines mean that the component my receiver will be informed every time I have <coughs> an intent with read SMS action which runs inside of the intent bus or every time there is, that there is an intent with the receive SMS which runs inside of the intent bus. So now that we have done that, we can specify programmatically the intent filter and the receiver. To do that, we just have to call the method register receiver and then we specify the receiver, new my receiver, and then we can specify a new intent filter, which is for instance android.provider.telephony.smsreceived. Okay? Doing that, we'll declare my receiver with this intent filter. So not, now that we have seen that declaring a broadcast receiver is quite simple, we can look to the life cycle of a broadcast receiver. The broadcast receiver has only one action. This action is on receive. So in this action, we have to perform some work. If we perform too much work, we will have some troubles with the UI thread, okay? Since there is no thread to manage this. So the action inside of the broadcast receiver has to be short and we cannot do asynchronous processing because we are not sure that any callback will be, will be called inside of this receiver. So how we can implement a broadcast receiver? First we have to extend the broadcast receiver class. So in the unique method we have on receive we can do something. The problem we have is that we are not the UI thread. So we cannot display some information. But sometimes we want to display something to the user. Hey, I received an SMS. So to do that, the only way is to build notifications that doesn't require an access to the UI thread to be displayed since it is put inside of a queue and then displayed by, by the UI thread. So here we can build a notification, grab the notification manager, and then notify with our notification. So now that we have seen how to receive event that has been propagated by the system, we may want to broadcast our own events. So first of all, 
what I have to do is to define my event and declare the intent filter which is which will be responsive to this uh, to this intent then I register to an intent as previously so I declare my receiver to be sensitive to my broadcast receiver app dot custom intent okay and then when I want to propagate a message I have two options the first one is normal broadcast so this is just asynchronous message and we have no we, we cannot may we cannot do any assumption about the order between receiver and it's pretty efficient so to do that we just build a new intent fill this intent with the new action and then call the sound broadcast method now we can also have ordered broadcasts so the goal of ordered broadcast is to say my receiver will be ordered there is broadcast receiver 1, broadcast receiver 2, broadcast receiver 3 and so on and the first broadcast receiver will receive the intent and then he can decide do I want to propagate this message this intent yes or no if yes the, the, the intent is sent among the other receiver otherwise the intent is not sent to the other so for instance when you build an application uh, that grabs the SMS you get you may only have one application for SMS okay you don't care if WhatsApp grab your SMS or something like that so you just kill the propagation of uh, the event you received an SMS so for other broadcast we just build the intent fill this intent with the new action and then call send, send order broadcast so now let's have a look to security with broadcast receiver we can have access to application specific resources so this means that we may have access to sensitive data so please ensure that you will only perform action if the message you, you are listening come from your own namespace otherwise it could be mal malicious uh, programs that try to uh, interrogate your data some applications do not respect the intent filter I will describe how we can do that later but to ensure that you will only receive message from correct application you can set the android.exported to false in order to have a, a minimum of security okay so to sum up broadcast receiver offer a way to trust all the system <coughs> events and there are two kinds of broadcast receiver the first one is ordered broadcast which is very useful when you want to deliver once some information but there are also other kind of broadcast receiver which is which are asynchronous broadcast receiver which helps to just broadcasting the information whatever the order of the receiver and sometimes you may want to have a local broadcast manager in order to propagate information inside of the different components of your activity of your application sorry and the idea is to build a local broadcast manager that will propagate internal events doing th that we have to communicate between the various components of your application while keeping all this communication safe inside of your application without broadcasting to the rest of the world what are you doing <laughs>